Hey guys, how's it going? I figured today I would show you what, how I've been filming stuff um, for my motorcycle riding videos. And we have the Senya Power Bank, which I like a lot. So I've already kind of played around with this quite a bit. So you can look it up online. I'll provide those links down below. But basically what it is, is this guy and this is a arm strap goes around your arm get it out totally just do that so basically you know what it is is a uh, lithium-ion battery 3.7 volt it's 5200 milliamp hour and uh, yeah, it works really good. So instead of buying like extra batteries, you know, this is for Senya, or the GoPro ones, or the generic Wasabi ones for the uh, GoPro, or GoPros, um, you can just use this. So basically, in short, what you do is you just take a cable, USB, plug it in, and depending on your device, I have the cable for the uh, USB cable. And if you have the uh, backpack, like the audio back for like a GoPro Hero Black 3, you just plug it right into the side. And ah, the light came on. And basically, you can just run it right off that. Now you're going to say, well, how does that attach to the helmet and all that good stuff in the case? So here's the case that comes with the uh, Senya Audio Pack. So it's a, it's bigger. You also get a you get a back door that has the uh, slots to access the buttons, the various buttons, and the side ports, or port, I should say, for the USB. Um, I just kept the clear plastic on because I don't need the back access and just keep more dust out. But you just put it in there like that, close it, Oop. close it, and now you can access right there. So you, go, you take that, and you shove it in. There we go. It just goes right on in and hangs out. And as you can see, I got power. And you got a very long time. So there's the battery inside, also the battery that's built into the audio pack for the Bluetooth, and this battery. Now you can record a long time, and instead of buying a bunch of like little batteries or GoPro branded batteries, you know, you basically just wear this. I wear it in the uh, arm holder here, strap. Like I said, it seems to work pretty good. You're going to have to be creative routing your wire. Some people are like, well, that wire could get caught on stuff. Well, for most moto vloggers, that's probably not even going to be a worry. No offense, guys, but... It's not going to be a worry, obviously, on graded dirt roads. So far on harder trails, I have not had it caught. You're just conscious how to wire this. I have it wrapped down. In a, uh, my helmet has goggles, so I use the goggle strap to hold that tight to the helmet. And then through my Ogeo flight vest, I kind of route the wire in a way that, you know, I won't have too much excess sticking out or sticking out at the arm when this is on my arm. And on my arm, it's going to be up like that for this. So that's that's one product I highly recommend. And it does the same with the um, with the prism. However, bad part, the part that I don't haven't I haven't really used it with the prism, is you need a long enough end 
to get in there through this door. <laughs> it just doesn't seem, it works better actually on the GoPro audio pack. And you know, even if I wanna, wanted to use, say, the Senya power bank without the, without that, you can still do that. You just plug it in, sure right direction, just plug it in there. And same thing into the power bank. And there you go. You know, you don't have to use the Bluetooth part. So continue that on with back to the uh, prism is, you know, that faces up. This is the cable the power bank comes with. And if it's on top of your helmet, that's gonna be, even though it, it stretches, is a very long reach and see, it already fell out. Because this piece is not long enough to go in there. And you really don't wanna run, I mean, I guess you could take this door completely off and then run the cable. right to it and you could do that right now it's charging because I think the battery in here is dead but this will charge this battery or run the camera and obviously if this door is left open obviously high risk of water dirt's going to get into those I mean I guess you could tape up around all this if you wanted to and just kind of leave that open be kind of you kind of get out to do that, but you could do that. <laughs> so, on that side of things, it's not, it doesn't work as well with the prism. Hate to say that. Even if I grab another cable, let's grab another cable. I only got a, a pile of them. Okay, so micro USB. Obviously, I can plug it straight into there just fine close the door and it's just it's just it's not as secure I mean that might be secure but from my testings before that uh, it wobbled enough to cut off the power, which would render filming in this useless. However, you can also use this for many things like charging your cell phone, camping, or maybe you're on a very long trip and you just want to power your com longer. And see, anytime I plug it in, it senses it and it, it tells you how many bars. I still have three bars, and I already I haven't recharged this since my last outing. So you could do your comm a lot longer, and that's mainly what they show. They show it for powering the comm for a longer time, and then obviously that's facing the correct way, direction for the connect for the connector, and then this on your arm, and it's a lot closer, and then that would probably flex and reach just fine. But yeah, you know, I highly recommend this external, uh, or this power bank as they call it, just a external battery supply. All this is battery and you're plugging it in to a product. And like I said, it, it'd be great for camping and using on your cell phone. Plus not only that, you know, you, you could power, you could charge a bunch of stuff. I mean, you could charge you know, if you took this or a couple of these, and you, even if you couldn't run the wire up to the batteries, you could just bring along the batteries and the holder like this. This is the Sinu one. Grab the right cable, <laughs> micro USB. You just do that. there and 
and then take your, sorry, I have to turn around. I didn't think about this part of it. And you can charge up your camera batteries for the next day right off of this. So it still provides you a easy source for charging stuff if you're in the back country instead of like having a ton a ton of batteries which you still might want depending how much you're filming during the day and how much content you want to ca capture for later processing um yeah so that's that's pretty much it i mean i highly recommend it it's just a versatile thing to me it's a lot better than buying a bunch of batteries and I, I believe it's like 80 bucks. I forget. I'll have the links down below in the description and you can check it out on Amazon. But I do think it's a worthwhile uh, battery to, to get and it, and it works as advertised. I've been happy with it. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.